Hey everyone, Austin here again with another Let's Play video. Today, as you can see, it's going to be DuckTales for the 8-bit Nintendo or Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, this is actually a Let's Play I did many years ago, and I'm revisiting it thanks to the new capture setup and whatnot. And, you know, it's been three or four years since I did my last playthrough, and revisiting this game, uh, or I should say in revisiting it, I've learned a, new, a couple of new tricks, actually. I looked up, uh, you know, some walkthroughs on GameFAQs and learn some new things and I figured I'd uh, try to show some of those new things to you guys while we play through this game again in uh, in glorious HD <laughs> so uh, a couple things to note um, I have the uh, the title screen music um, cut out unfortunately because that's total copyright claim material I got a copyright claim on my original let's play from years ago I don't know why it's an 8-bit rendition, uh, who cares? So, sorry about that, guys. But second, um, before we jump in, I wanted to give a big shout out to my current Patreon backers, as always. Uh, thank you guys for your continued support, and I hope you guys continue to enjoy these videos. Um, and also, a big shout out to the Super Chatters as well over the last month or so. Thank you guys for your support as well. And thanks to anyone that watches these videos. I really appreciate it. I just hope you guys enjoy this content. So we're going to do difficult mode. And so let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Um, we're going to start off with the Amazon. And so yeah, here we go. DuckTales on the NES. This is a classic, classic game. I think I say that every time I play this game. It's not a game I go back to all the time. Um, but when I do go back to it, I always just really enjoy myself. It's one of those games that... Uh, it's got really solid gameplay, good graphics for the NES, you know, really catchy music and things like that. And it's always a joy to go back to and play. Uh, so a lot of levels in this game actually have multiple ways you can go. So here in the Amazon, you can either go right or you can go down. So we're going to go down. And uh, there's actually a sort of a, a trick we're going to use later on in the level. And I'll try to explain that once we get to it. So basically in DuckTales you can jump, uh, you can duck like so, and if you press down and hold the B button, uh, you will use your pogo stick, or you use your cane as a pogo stick basically. And if you let go of B, you stop doing your pogo. As long as you keep holding down though, you can uh, just go right back into it. And that's one of the keys to uh, you know, handling some of the trickier platforming later on in the game. Uh, but there's another secret over here. You can just walk on over here. You notice that there's lots of uh, money that just appears. Um, crystals and things like that. They all add to your, your money count in the top left-hand portion of the screen. And um, money is actually important in this game for a variety of reasons. For one, uh, if you're low on health, I believe you can pause the game and press like select or something like that. And that'll actually give you your, uh, your health back. So you can actually use money to uh, to get health back, which is nice for people that need it. Um, also, your ending can change depending on how much money you have. So the idea is to try to get $10 million in the game. And if you do that, you get the quote unquote best ending in the game. Um, as long as you found also the, uh, the uh, treasures that you need to. Well, I'll point those out once we uh, get to them. So you want to try to get as much money as you can. There's lots of hidden money in this game. And, uh, so you can just pogo all over the place, you'll notice that money just appears out of thin air, like literally. If only, uh, you know, money could actually appear out of thin air in real life, that would be something. But, it does in DuckTales. Yeah, so we're basically working our way back, because my goal is to try to maximize, uh, the cash. And so I just want to make sure I've got everything. A lot of times there's also some, um, hidden health power-ups and things like that. Oh, let's grab that. Sometimes enemies drop money too, and it looks like those tiny little crystals are worth about a thousand dollars. So, you know, every little bit counts in this game. Uh, you'll notice that you've also got a timer, and if the time runs out before the end of the stage, uh, you do die, actually. You lose a life. So, currently we have three lives right now. Uh, we'll probably get many more lives uh, as the game progresses. There's a lot of hidden extra lives and things like that that uh, we will get. Alright, so we pretty much got everything. Let's work our way back up this vine. And pogo on him, and pogo on him, and him. And, geez, they just don't want to stop coming. Now, there's actually a trick, and this is one of the coolest tricks that I learned, uh, because I just never bothered to try it back in the day, um, is if your... If, the, if your money on the 10,000 slot is a uh, 7, which it is right now, actually, 
Um, if you take Launchpad back to uh, your your home, you'll go to a bonus stage. And for those of you guys that have never played DuckTales, you're probably wondering what the hell am I talking about. But uh, fear not, because I'm going to be able to show you in just a couple of moments. So yeah, there's a lot of blocks like this that you can just pogo. You can also smack them if you're close enough to them. And if you try to smack the side, uh, Scrooge McDuck sort of does this. It's kind of funny. Alright, so there's Launchpad up there, and what we're gonna do is... You wanna lift back to Duckburg, Mr. McD? Yes. So we're gonna do yes, because our... Um, our... The 10,000 digit is a 7, and basically what happens is you go to this bonus stage. And I had no idea about this until just a couple weeks ago when I, I fired this up on Twitch and I was like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, you know, see if there's anything else about this game I don't know about. And sure enough, there's a whole bunch of stuff. And so basically what happened is we just exited the level, we got money, and now we're gonna have to go back and play the level again. So something I also wanted to note before we started is that this is probably gonna be a longer play session of DuckTales than you would probably expect. Um, because again, I want to try to maximize my money, and in order to do that, um, one of the things I do is I go through, uh, and I take Launchpad back to home, and we go back through the level again, and we basically just get to collect all the money all over again. Uh, and so that's a way of maximizing your cash in this game. So I'll try to make this one quick this time. Yeah, I sort of actually debated whether I wanted to do, like, a full run of this game, like, actually getting the, uh, trying to get the 10 million dollars, um, and, you know, I decided, you know, what the heck, why not, let's, let's do it, um, it's DuckTales, it's gonna be a while before I, I run through this game again, uh, unless you guys catch me on stream, because I'm more likely to play it on stream than I am to do another, say, dedicated YouTube video on it. As, and the only reason I'm actually doing um, a lot of this uh, replicated content on YouTube, you know, covering these games I've already played through years ago, I've already got playthroughs of these games, um, it's just, you know, the video quality, that's the biggest thing. And I know I do have a larger following now on YouTube, and I figure maybe some of you missed out on the original playthroughs as well. And that's not going to be an excuse for me to just constantly redo these games as years go on. The big, the, the big takeaway is just... Um, much better visual quality on on the video, and I think that's the most important part. You know, that HD look and you know 60 frames a second, stuff like that. Um, kind of a big deal to me, and uh, so I try not to do you know duplicate content on this channel. But in the case of my old videos, you know, uh, it's all about getting that video quality up to snuff, basically. So we took a hit. Ooh, almost took another one. So one of the really cool things about DuckTales is that, you know, you have a lot of flexibility in, you know, avoiding enemies and things like that and dodging because of just how responsive your poker stick is uh, when you, you know, release the B button while you're holding down in the air. So you can basically control the height of your jump very, very well in this game. You can do little baby jumps like this, or you can go all the way up, and you've just got the flexibility. So you'll notice I'm constantly letting go of the B button as I'm playing. And not only is it very useful, but it's also very satisfying, too. Okay, I intentionally ran into that B, because I had a feeling that if I got hit by him, I might have actually... If I got hit by him farther along, I might have actually fallen down that hole, which would have been bad. All right. just gonna smack these, get some cash, and now you'll notice that launch pad is gone. So you can actually take him back to uh, to your home and uh, and then come back, like I said, and play through these levels again to maximize your money. Now what I actually should have done the first time I got here was come up and grab that cash, but I was worried that I, I would land off the seven um, on the 10,000 digit, unfortunately. I think there's also a secret up top you can try to take. Yeah, 
just like so. But I don't normally take this, actually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna... We're gonna actually go back. Pretty sure it's like a warp. Um, that might take you uh, farther along the stage. But again, it's all about maximizing that cash. So I just want to make sure I don't miss anything here. Unfortunately, I don't quite have this game memorized like I did as a kid. So... It's quite possible I'm not going to miss anything. There might not actually be anything down here. But... Uh, it's good I came this way anyway, because this statue asks you if you want to pay to pass. And press B. All you have to do is just walk back, trigger that guy, and then you can just poke your way up to the top. Ooh, I wanted that, uh, that money. Oh, well, there's an extra life. And right here, you want to just hold left. And then just do like a baby jump. And there you go. Alright, so this is the boss fight. And you just want to pogo. There's gonna be a lot of pogoing in this game. This is your main form of, of attack. Now, you can, like, smack blocks into enemies and things like that, but it's not something you really do too often as a, an offensive measure. Now, one of the other tricks I wanted to talk about is, on Game Facts, someone wrote that if you collect that treasure, the boss treasure, right as your timer hits zero, the game will glitch out and um, it'll go back to your maximum amount of time and then cash that or pay that out as, as money. Um, I tried that a couple times on stream, I failed, um, so I don't even know if it works, but it is kind of something that's interesting. Alright, so on to Transylvania now. So there's only, uh, I guess, five levels in the game, but uh, you do come back to Transylvania a couple times. And uh, the levels are actually fairly long, too, especially if you're trying to just maximize your cash and whatnot, which is what we're trying to do here. We're going to eventually go back into that mirror later on. Huey has been kidnapped. Save him, please. And say you, Huey's actually right up top here. He's not far away at all. And I don't even think you really need to save him, <laughs> technically. So this is a hint right here as well. This house has an illusion wall. This is actually important for this level. Um, this level has a mandatory secret. Um, if you want to get uh, some extra goodies and whatnot. Actually, is it mandatory? Eh, I don't know. We're going to get it anyway, so it might as well be mandatory. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is, once we come over here, I'm going to work my way back, because again, the idea is money. Oops. So sometimes you can actually smack these, and money might appear. Ghosts might appear too, so you got to watch out for the ghosts. So this one right here is actually, I think, the illusion wall, so you can walk right through here. There we go, so we got a life extend, and I think that's a permanent life extend as well. Smack that, there's a ghost. Smack that, there's another ghost. No money. So we're gonna go ahead and just come up here too, why not? So we'll smack that, and that killed that guy, and that's an extra life. There's another illusion wall right here. And actually, I think this is mandatory. We have to go on the right side mirror, but we're not gonna do that just yet, because it's all about that cash. I'm going to maximize my money. There's some more money. And if we want to, we can smack these guys, which reveal some treasure chests sometimes. Uh, we can't get over uh, to the top one, unfortunately. So you can actually hit those from the other side. But we're not going to really... I don't think we really need to go over there, honestly. Alright, gonna fall right back down. And I'm gonna go back down to get whatever leftover cash there is. Whoa, come on. Go the other way. Thank you. Oh, 
know, come to think of it, I'm not sure if I'd trust an ice cream cone that just randomly appears in a uh, haunted, haunted mansion. What do you guys think? Would you trust it? I wouldn't. Mr. McD does, apparently. Okay, these guys are kind of a pain to deal with. It's not necessary to kill them, but... But what, you say? I have no idea. I don't know why I keep saying but. I've been doing that a lot lately with my speech patterns. Is I've just... I just end every sentence with but. Like, I'm gonna follow it up with something, and I don't. <laughs> so, I apologize if that drives some of you guys nuts. It's starting to drive me nuts, and I'm the one doing it. Alright. So going through this mirror, I think, takes us back to the beginning. I think that's what it does. But again, it's all about that money, so we got some money, which is good. So unfortunately, trying to maximize your money can probably get a little boring, probably, probably get a little old for you guys uh, watching there at home. And you know, it is what it is. It's really fun to just kind of play the game like this, um, you know, try to maximize that money. It's a way I, I, I didn't really play like this back in the day when I was a kid. I would just like rush through the game. I wouldn't really go exploring or things like that. Yeah, so that illusion wall is mandatory. That takes us to the boss fight. So I wasn't entirely wrong earlier. Okay, there we go. So $292,000 is what we have. Uh, total, we've got 2 million something or another. Which is nice. Okay, so for this boss, she basically just falls down and then shoots three lightning bolts up. And if you just sort of get behind her, you can do that. A lot of the bosses in this game, actually pretty much every boss in this game is pretty easy. They're not very challenging at all. It's actually kind of one of the nice things about DuckTales. It's not a very stressful game. And it's just one of those games that's just really fun to play. It's not really stressful at all. I mean, it's got some trick parts, don't get me wrong. And if you're brand new to the game, you're probably going to die. But it's not... It's not like a Castlevania or Ninja Gaiden, um, where you're gonna feel stressed out playing this game. It's just probably not gonna happen. And I think that's one of the reasons why DuckTales uh, is seen as such a classic for so many people. It's just one of those games that uh, is just fun to play. Not every game has to be, you know, mind-numbingly difficult. And, uh... So, alright, now we're gonna go back to Transylvania. And I actually verified this the other day. Um... There is no money in here. So there is no point to try to play through the whole level again. So we're not going to. Um... Well, that was interesting. I didn't know about that. Wow. I just found a secret, but at the kind of the wrong time, because, uh... Oh, no. Seriously? Really? Oh. Okay. <laughs> we just appeared up here. <laughs> we have to pretty much go back now. Uh, unfortunately... Yeah, I have no idea about that secret. I mean, I probably knew about it back when I was a kid, but... Uh, in recent, you know, runs, I had no idea that was there. That was cool. Well, we just, uh, found out a, found a secret, guys, which is nice. Um, let's go back down. That mirror might have actually taken us back, but I just didn't really feel like taking the chance. There it is, another ice cream cone. Out of a mummy this time. Yeah, I really wouldn't trust it. Yeah, basically to get the key that we need, we actually have to just come back to this first mirror. But that's really interesting, so you can just come up here. Yeah, secret. Wow. You can kind of sometimes figure out if there's like a, a hole by just looking at how like the screen scrolls. I don't know. Never mind, don't listen to me. Alright, there we go. And this is going to allow us um, to go back to the mine. So, African mines, back at it again.
You can also smack these, and sometimes money will appear. So you want to try to smack every single one that you can. You gotta watch out for these bats. These bats are kind of dumb, actually. They just fall down and they get dizzy. Uh, it's kind of funny, actually. Alright, so total money is at about 3.3 million. And levels themselves are, they usually seem to be worth about one or two million points. Uh, and by points, I mean dollars. There's another secret here. Extra life. And I actually don't want to fall down. I think I want to come over here first. Because there are some of these uh, chains you go down, um, they don't go all the way down. So once you fall down, you can't get back up. But once you go down, you can't get back up. So there's going to be a uh, a treasure over here. The treasures themselves are worth quite a bit. And I think they're mandatory to get the best ending in the game. So there's two of these. Two hidden treasures throughout the game. So one of them is here. Uh, one of them is also in on the moon. The one on the moon is actually a little more obvious. I think this actually takes us to the boss fight, yeah. So we don't actually want to go there yet. But I will... I will take some African ice cream, though. I mean, again, the idea is to maximize our money. What I might end up doing is actually just killing myself. I think I might actually do that. I have no regrets! Because I'll be back anyway! There we go. So there's a couple of other places I wanted to go to. You know, Launchpad might even be here. I don't know if he is. Oh, come on! So it looks like if you're uh, in your invincibility phase, you can't actually attack certain enemies when you're blinking, which is really odd. Yeah, it's gonna fall down here. Actually, what I probably should have done is... Mm, let's try this way. There's gonna be some boxes that appear here. Unfortunately, they go away. So we're not going to be able to get the money from inside of them. And we might actually take a hit here. Okay, that was close. Yeah, so that just takes us over there. Let's see if there's any hidden money here. Nope, didn't think so. Alright, now we fall down. Yeah, I wanted to show you this water area as well. You can jump on those guys. Alright, so this is tricky. You sort of have to bait these guys to uh, appear. If you don't, uh, it's really hard to get the timing just right, and you'll probably fall down and die. Oh, what? That is so weird. The, uh... I should have been able to attack him. Alright, so the idea now is to try to get 7 on my um, my 10,000 digit, so I can actually go back and get that bonus stage. Otherwise, there's no point in going back. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, actually. Alright, so in this part, you want to just hold down. Otherwise, you'll get hit, and you'll take some damage. And then you just jump. You know, I tried playing the Game Boy version of this game, and I found it nearly impossible to get out of the minecart. Which is actually what kept me from ever let's playing that version of the game. Okay, you know, we might actu not actually be able to, uh... take our, uh, sort of cheat our way back to town, unfortunately. And that might actually keep us from getting, uh, the, the ten, ten million dollars total. Hmm. 
I really don't want to kill myself again. Yeah, because that basically just took us to the boss fight. Uh, so we're at 1 4. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do here. I think we'll just go ahead and fight the boss. I mean, I can burn up several lives. I'm okay with that. Because we're going to get more extra lives too as the game goes on. And it's sad I can't go back up. This probably is one of the trickier boss fights too. Because uh, it's a little hard to predict which way he's going to go. But he just like spins left, spins right. And you just got to do some preemptive jumping. And then just poke him. There we go, just like that. Yeah, so the problem with defeating the boss, though, is that you can't go back to the level now once the boss has been defeated. It's it's blocked off. So, that might actually keep us from getting the best ending, unfortunately. But that's okay. It's, it's literally just an extra, you know, piece of art. Uh, it's... Nothing crazy, but it is fun to see. It's fun to do, so... Yeah, one of the other big things about this game that people always rave about is just the soundtrack. It's got such a good soundtrack. It's very catchy, it's, you know, it's really good. So much charm to the soundtrack in this game. It's just really awesome. Alright, so we can fall down here. Let's see if there's any money up here. Extra life. So basically what we could do here is try to get launch pad and then come back uh, and do part of the level over again to try to get extra money. So like, we're at the seven digit right now. I should probably wait. There we go, bonus stage. Wow, that was a lot. He gave me a lot, actually. That was worth it. So we're at 6 million. I, I still don't think we're gonna get the 10 mil. And I don't, you know, I don't even know if doing the bonus stage is necessary to get the 10 million, but when I played this on Twitch the other day and I tried this for the first time, uh, I think I just barely eclipsed 10 mil. So I feel like this is necessary, you know, Taking advantage of, you know, being able to come back and, and re-grab a lot of that money you've already gotten, I think, I think is necessary. I mean, like, we've already gotten another 182,000. And I think this extra life might even reappear, too. Let's see. Sure enough, yeah, look at that. Back up to eight lives. You notice that uh, launch pad is no longer, no longer here. I'm just gonna fall down. Get that money. You can just pogo these guys. You gotta watch out to not pogo the uh, the snow, though. As you probably notice, you can get stuck in it. Which, in and of itself, isn't really a, a big deal. And this is kind of tricky right here, too. But we want to come over here, because there's another life extend, actually. Oh! <laughs> Oops. I let go of my jump too early.
But getting the life extend is actually pretty tricky because these spiders are constantly coming down and you've got no way to attack them. Gotta grab all the money I see. I mean, even those small ones are worth it. You know, they're like a thousand. Let's go to tank. Oh, this isn't the one I need. Oh, jeez. What a waste. <laughs> I think it's up here, actually. Oh no, it's actually farther down below. Ah, we gotta go back down. Yeah, we have to go back, because uh, over to the right is actually the boss fight. Now we can come up here and just smack these. Yeah, sorry guys, we have to actually go back down. We've got plenty of lives. I think we're going to do just fine. Alright, so we need to come down here. I wasn't thinking. So basically there's, uh... I think his name is Bubba. And he's like a little caveman. Or cave duck. And once we uh, free him, he'll give us... Ooh. Need to respawn those. There we go. Uh, he'll basically give us a permanent life extent. So that's what this is for over here. It's not mandatory, but it's nice to do. You know, with how much trickier that spider part was earlier, you would think, like, that's where he would be. Alright, so we just pogo him. He gives us our life extend. So our life is maxed out now. Which is really, really nice. That's especially good for the moon stage, because there's a lot of tight, uh, tight platforming, tight, tight enemy scenarios on the moon. And so uh, having being able to take five hits instead of three is is nice. Alright, so now it's about going to the boss and wrapping up this level. I actually kind of wonder if uh, I'm going to get another copyright claim, <laughs> just for the general in-game music. I know this game's been made available again elsewhere, um, there's also the remake, and so it makes me wonder if some of this is in uh, YouTube's content ID system now. I mean, I would say probably not, because if it was, the old video probably would have gotten, would have triggered on, like, the Himalayas tune, you know? But the only thing that video triggered on was the title screen theme main DuckTales theme, um, which is featured both on the intro and the ending. So, we're gonna have to actually mute the beginning and the end, unfortunately, which sucks, and I hate doing that. Um, but I also don't want the video to get copyright claimed either, so... Hopefully you guys understand. 7.6 mil! I feel like we're not going to do it, because this is just the moon, this is the last one. I mean, we do have to go back to, to Transylvania again. I don't think... I don't know if anything reappears in Transylvania, though, that last time. Can I 
don't even know if Launchpad's here. He might not. Is he? I don't remember. We're gonna find out. Oh, he dropped some money. Yeah, so the moon is probably the... I don't know. There's, there's some things you have to do in this level. It can get a little confusing. Lots of, like, uh, four-way intersections at, uh, at many parts of this level. Do I go left, right, up, or down? Well, you just go every way until you find the right way. Process of elimination. So, I'm actually going the wrong way. Um, I think I actually should be going down into the left to get the key that we need. Yeah, because this door is blocked. Yeah, there's a key inside the UFO. We can't go on without it. So, that basically gives us a device that we need in order to access the boss room. But we, we do need to come up here anyway. I think this is where the uh, the hidden treasure is. Although it's not really so hidden on this uh, this level. But it does involve you to pogo on aliens' heads and spikes floating out in space. I don't really know why I'm trying to make sense of this. <laughs> it's, it's a 1980s video game. <laughs> I'm not usually one that actually tries to, uh, justify, um, certain things existing in video games. I'm, I just play the game. That's all I do. I don't care if it's realistic or, or, you know, trying to be realistic. It doesn't matter. Um, it is kind of funny to comment on it, though, and point it out occasionally. And I notice, like, a lot of people do that online, like, they really tear apart these games. They're like, why would there be a donut floating in space? I, I don't know. It's a video game. I don't really care. <laughs> but some people actually, they question that stuff all the time. So if we wanted to, we could fall down here, and that would actually uh, send us outside again, which we don't want to do that. Alright, so here I think is where the key is. These guys are kind of a pain, too. Smack that over. Oh, it still took a hit. There we go. Yeah, so we're at 7.6 million, and we've got 1.4 million right now before the end of this stage. Like I said, it's going to be really close. That's the key to the UFO. Ooh, we could go back and do the whole level over again. I think that would actually... If we can do that, that would actually give us the money we need. Actually, it wouldn't entirely because... Because a lot of the money we got is from the hidden treasure. I always forget about that. Things are worth bank. Alright, let me see if we can get some more cash. If I can get that on the... the seven digit, we can leave. I mean, we can still leave anyway. But, it's about leaving through the bonus stage. Alright, that's the seven. gonna do it. I know that extends the uh, the time of the Let's Play. We're already up to about 40 minutes right now. But it's fine. I like hour-long Let's Plays.
Yeah, I mean, it looks like you could almost get 100,000 from playing this bonus stage. So that's worth it. Actually, we're really close to getting that 10 bill. Or 10 million. <laughs> I keep wanting to say billion, but it's, it's not billions in this. So, sorry for the repetition, guys, but I kind of really want to get that best ending. I've, I've, you know, I don't have a video of me doing that, so I think it would be awesome to be able to show that off for you guys. And potential future viewers that uh, stumble upon my channel. Okay, well, what we can do is at least come back this way first and get that key, since we, we need to re-obtain the key again. I don't... Oh, that's right. Treasure, treasure chests here. Lots of uh, ice cream cones, man. I'm always sad when I see them, because I usually have full health. I don't always need them. Those guys can also get stuck, like, underneath those spikes, and that's kind of annoying, too. Hmm. He's just chilling there. Okay. It actually, we still have the key. Interesting, I didn't know that. I thought that we'd have to get it again, but apparently we don't. That's good to know for anyone that uh, is trying to do this 10 million trick and trying to play these levels multiple times to maximize your money. You don't actually have to go up there. You know, I, I, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I, I really like it when we learn new things like during the recordings of these Let's Plays. So, you know, that's just a tiny detail anyway, it's not like, it's not a huge deal, but it's just interesting to know that. We're actually almost done with this level, and thus we're almost done with the, uh, the whole game. I actually feel like... I, I know... I'm pretty sure there's a secret somewhere in the moon. Uh, and you get that lady... I have... I forget her name, sorry guys that uh, just tosses the food down. Uh, so you basically you just get a free life... Um, life refill. I, I don't know where she is. I thought I found it in my practice session on Twitch. Oh, it's, it's up here, actually. Yep. Bam, there it is. I was wondering where it was. Unfortunately, that's it. It's just a life refill, nothing too terribly special. Alright, so we're going to come back up again. Just once more, just to maximize my cash. I don't think we really need to come over here again, but we're going to do it anyway. Yeah, there's no money or anything. Alright, let's get out of here. So now we have to be careful coming back down, because the, uh... The rope basically just leads us right into an endless pit, so we need to take this slow. 
and then just drop off manually like that. I have a tendency of just like pogoing my way straight down a hole, or right down a shaft, and without realizing where it's going to lead. Like, directly into an endless pit. So... <clears throat> Alright, so this is it. Got some health refills. So this is probably one of the trickier boss fights because, you know, he just kind of bounces all over the place. And it's a little unpredictable as well. Oh man. He stayed invincible for a long time. Oh, really? I'm taking hits that I don't feel like I should be taking. Wow, all the way back here, huh? I guess Launchpad is your checkpoint. Yes, I, I almost did it right there. I just pogoed my way down. If I wasn't paying attention, I would have just fallen, uh, just would have fallen down that, uh... Holy crap, I can't talk right now. <laughs> I would have just fell down that hole. Man, I am out of it. I was doing alright at the beginning of this Let's Play, but man, now I'm just, like, stumbling all over my words. <laughs> alright, let's get this done. I guess you could sort of tell where he's going, because I guess he points in the direction that he's going to bounce to. No, he doesn't. Because he just turned around and jumped in the opposite direction. Yeah, very unpredictable. Wow, this is going to actually put us... Wow, we're over the 10 million. I think this is actually more than my practice session. Actually, this might be about where I was before. That's great, so... I was able to do it without replaying the, uh, the African Mines. Alright, so back to the manor. We actually don't need to go through here. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to go back through that, um... That invisible wall. Not invisible wall. The walkthrough wall. Which is... here. So you basically just go back to the boss room and then you fight the final boss. Alright, so what you can do here is uh, bounce off his bat, and then just pogo him in the head. And it's just rinse and repeat. And then afterwards what's gonna happen is we're gonna race to the top. And then that's the end of the game. Not gonna get him. Wow, that bat is really unpredictable. <clears throat> I think the bat might actually just line up with wherever you are. So like, if you're high up in the air, it's gonna fly high in the air too. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, come on. There we go. And that's it. Now we gotta race to the top. It 
So, like I said, this game isn't terribly stressful. I mean, some of the hardest parts are some of the bosses, like the final boss. I mean, it's just timing with your pogo stick, it's nothing crazy. And, uh, so here we go! This is, uh, I believe the best ending. Has stunned the world with his discovery of two lost treasures. You're a master treasure hunter. So... So yeah, that's DuckTales, guys. That is the end of the game. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. A uh, little lengthy for DuckTales. I think, you know, you can get through this game in about 25 or 30 minutes, but since we were really trying to explore every nook and cranny to maximize our cash, um, you know, it took a little bit longer, but at least you got to see uh, a lot of the secrets in the game and things like that. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it. It's fun revisiting this game, and I'm glad I looked up uh, some of the hints and stuff like that on GameFAQs, um, because I ended up learning a bunch of new things, too, going back and playing through this game again. You know, I, I played through a lot of these games as a kid, and I had my methods of going through the games, you know, as a kid, and that's how I revisit a lot of the games. I just play it like I did back in the day, but it's, it's fun digging into these games and, you know, learning new things about them, you know? Like, I didn't know about taking the launch pad back to home and getting a bonus stage if you do it just right. Uh, things like that are just really interesting to me. So uh, it's been fun revisiting this. And I hope even if you guys have seen my previous Let's Play of it, I hope you still enjoyed this one. Um, maybe you enjoyed it more or less. Maybe you hated this one. I don't know. But... <laughs> But with that, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. So as usual, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you guys soon. And until the next video, uh, take it easy.